Okay. Do you like to swim? Are you good at swimming? I like to swim, but I'm not. How'd you learn to swim? Someone taught you. When I, my kids were small, one of the ways I was tempted to teach them to swim was just take them and throw them in the pool. Either you swim or you sink. No two ways about it. But I didn't do that. Because when I was not too much older than you, some friends of mine and I went to the pool near our house. Big pool, bigger than this room. And there was a couple small diving boards on either side, but at the end was the three meter board, nine feet off the floor. And my friend said, let's go jump in the pool. Okay. So I got in line with them. <coughs> and I climbed up the ladder. Now, have you ever seen people do diving on TV? Isn't that beautiful? They step out, they go twang, jump up in the air, do all kinds of salts or somersaults and flips, and choo, like a knife right into the water, barely a splash. I wasn't getting anything like that. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, I got out on the board, and I went to do that, okay? So I got ready, I went one, two, and I did that jump thing, and the board went twang. <laughs> And my knees went <laughs> flat out on my stomach. I hit the water. Ouch. I even had little pores on my body that started to bleed. Here's something you might want to keep in mind. If you're going to jump off the diving board, it would be helpful if you knew how to swim. I didn't. At no point did it ever sink into my head, okay, after you go off the board, how are you going to get from out there to back over here? And so, I'm trying to do the whistling thing, right down to the bottom of my sink. And I remember thinking to myself, this is not a good thing. So I decided to yell for help. And I did. Help! which when you're under the water is also not a good thing. Now these folks have probably seen a baseball movie called Sandlot, where there's this one kid called Squid Skidoris, wears the heavy horn rimmed glasses, and he's got a crush on Wendy Peppercorn. She's the hottie patati lifeguard. He pretends to be drowning, so she rescues him and has to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on him which turns into a big kiss that he gives her. And that's why she throws him out of the pool. I did not get Wendy Peppercorn. <laughs> I got some pimple-faced boy named Homer <laughs> who slobbered all over me while I was trying to breathe. Floating is a good thing. And in our story this morning, we read about a man named Peter who was able to walk on the water. Hey, Tracy and then started to sink. Jesus had to go rescue him. There are times in our lives when we feel like we're sinking. Not necessarily in the water. Maybe you're at school and there's some kid who's picking on you and calling you names and stuff like that. That really hurts. And it feels like there's nobody here to help. There's one person who can, and that's Jesus. Because Jesus loves you, Think you're special. Let's pray about that for a minute. Dear God, sometimes it feels like we're sinking, but you're always there to save us. Thank you for doing that. Amen.